Okay, so we couldn't get this done yesterday evening because of other commitments, so it's now late morning and I need to do this video to get this off the bench to get the next repair on. So squelch that hovers, which is always annoying. These are the sets with the weird mic. These radios, as I said in the repair video, are unlike any other of the smaller Midlands. Uh, I don't think they suffer from the dry joints, they're not out of the usual factory. And we did come to the conclusion, we're made in Korea by... I've lost the paperwork already. Tango 21 test. Don't think he's ready yet. Something like Hung Chang or something. Certainly not made by Maxon or any other. These were distributed by Kerno at the time. Crystal filtered in receive from 1991. And uh, I've usually found it work quite well. If you haven't got the mic, the transmitted audio is usually a bit bassy with a standard mic. So you really need to try and pick up the rather weird mic. And it says it's a thousand ohms impedance. So it's not normally like the normal 600 or even the 380s which are around. Tango 21 test. Tango 21 working. Right, I'll plug my speaker in. Roger that. Speaker is now in. Roger, off we go then. Roger, dodger. Right, we're passing the house and recording. Roger on that, and on this radio there's no tone control. Roger that. So we got full 4 watt output with it and it's doing 0.3 microvolts for 12 decibel sign-up so it's quite a sensitive set and more so than the baby Midlands Right, we're coming up to the end of the lane Roger, got you at the end of the lane Roger Service station 145.9, oh, no, sorry, 144.9 or 149.9. Roger, that's one of the advantages of occasionally doing one during the day, and then we get back to the petrol station open. Square wheeled Ancaster Crossroads. Where to get your square wheeled at Ancaster Crossroads? Passing through Lancaster Crossroads. Roger, Diddley, Dodger.
uh, 21 from Mr Chippy. We're now going round Scratchy Corner, Wilsford. Oh. Well, have you got your line in here? Going round Scratchy Corner at Wilsford. Tango 21 from Mr Chippy. We're now going round Scratchy Corner, Wilsford. Over. Roger got you loud and clear going around Scratchy Corner at Willsford. So I'm on. So I'm on a 1991 Midland 77-1165, 77-1165, it's a 441 output, and it's one of those that's funny electric condenser bag, which is a multi-coloured strange shape. Over. Yep, Roger, on that, all received. Roger, Roger. Tango 21 from Mr Chippy, we're now at the five mile point. Well, we've got you at the five mile point, as I was saying, for a 1991 set of crystal filters as standard, and we're doing a full four watt hour full time going 1.3 amps to do that. I can do low power on this, I've set it to 400 milliwatts, here we go, 54 power, over. Yep, roger that. No problems on full power. Uh, did hear you on low power without adjusting the squelch, but you were very noisy. 
I've tried to park over a bit more to the right like like Mark was uh, the other day. <laughs> Seemed to work better at that point. Yes, I think uh, I will just add this set has been donated by one of the viewers, so thank you to that person. Yep, thank you very much. Okay, I'll keep going ready. Roger that. Right, we're on the move again. Roger, on that. I was going to say happy birthday to Paul, I didn't see yesterday, but uh, that belated happy birthday because uh, we were only happy to say when I planned to go there. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy belated birthday for radio a bit gone out because I didn't get any of your initial uh, transmission. Something like 146.9 149.9. Yeah, the video will show, but there you go. I thought you were talking to young lady in the bikini or something, picking you up. No, the squash wasn't opening, but then again I was getting four bars, but that's four bars of noise from the uh, lights there, isn't it, or whatever it is that does it. Yep, okay, that works right. Ten times, thank you. Yep, roger that, 10-10. 21 from the sea. We're now going over Rossby Level Crossing. Over. Roger on that, got you going over Rossby Level Crossing. Have you got a petrol price for me at that end, please, over? Yeah, 146.9, older 147. I don't know, I was looking at the radio a bit, gone out, because I didn't get any of your initial uh, transmissions. Like 146.9 and 149.9. Well, the video will show it, but there you go. I thought you putting probably saw some young lady in a bikini or something putting you off. <laughs> no, the close button wasn't opening, but then again, I was getting four bars, but that's four bars of noise from the uh, lights there, isn't it? Or whatever it is, does it? Yep, yeah, okay, well, that worked great. 10-10, thank you. That's pretty that, 10-10. Yeah, right, well, that really does. And you know, if you've ever been disappointed over the 77099 Midland, the 77095 Midland, or the D version of the 77104, the 77805, these are totally different. Um, the crystal filtering there uh, makes all the difference to the way this works. So out of all the non-precision series Midlands, that's probably the only Midland I'd want in my car. There's a rider to that, I would have and have had the 77104 Baby Midland, but not the D version, the UK version, not the D version. Right, we'll go to our base station, see what it sounds like with the rather special mic these have to have, really. Um, I think they're quite clear. We'll find out on our Midland 77104, what am I about? We'll find out on our Midland 76900 base station in contrast, made by Cybernet. Okay, so one touching the Midland 77 1161 into our Midland 76900 base station using the factory original Electret condenser mic. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll pop it onto low power. There we are on low power. I'm not expecting any hum. And back to full power. There we are back on full power. So that's what we've got next. Uh, I'm sure we'll find some 